Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Boeing 787-10 makes first flight. PS Engineering issues an audio panel challenge. And U Avionics to disrupt GA market. Hello, I'm Christopher Seolum. It's April 3rd, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Boeing's largest variant of the Dreamliner has made its maiden flight. The 787-10 took off from a runway at the North Charleston, South Carolina manufacturing facility at 9.39 Friday morning on a flight that lasted well over four hours and seemed to go quite well. The new airplane flew extensively over South Carolina and the Atlantic Ocean. Boeing says the 787-10 is about 95% the same as the 9 variant. But the airplane's additional 18 feet of length allows the seat capacity to be increased to 330 and cargo capacity is larger as well. Boeing currently has about 149 orders for the airplane. There are two different engine options for the 787-10, the GE NX-1B or the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000. The 787-10 is expected to cut fuel consumption and emissions by 25% and have a 60% smaller noise footprint that the aircraft it replaces. Boeing projects it will have a 10% edge on the competing aircraft in fuel consumption and emissions. PS Engineering has a proposition for owners of Garmin's GMA340 audio panel. The company is challenging those owners and pilots to ask their avionics dealer for a free flight trial of the PS Engineering PMA450A audio panel, a plug-and-play replacement. The company says that the PMA450A is the latest plug-and-play model that gives unprecedented capability while being the easiest to use audio panel we have ever built. The PMA450A is the second generation digitally based audio panel that is based upon a DSP. The company says that another leap forward is PS Engineering's improved and unique graphical user interface. Using OLED technology, the larger display not only makes it possible to view the display from any angle, it is also larger to make the soft key graphical user interface even easier to use. This audio panel is plug and play with Garmin's GMA340, so making the upgrade as easy as one, two, three. The existing wire harness and tray that is installed for the GMA340 is complete and there is nothing to add or change. Get all of the new capabilities by simply removing and replacing. A simple logbook entry is all that is required. So apparently you can go into the shop, have one of the units installed in your airplane, go fly and compare the two. It's interesting and aggressive marketing to be sure. After the break, UAvionics to disrupt GA market. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. UAvionics company, UAvionics Corporation, is entering the GA market with four key products, Echo UAT, Sky FYX, Sky Echo, and Ping ESX. UAvionics aims to disrupt GA by leveraging solutions developed for drones to transform avionics design and dramatically reduce the size and cost of ownership. The UAvionics GA product line will be debuted at Sun and Fun 2017 in Florida and Aero Friedrichshafen 2017 in Germany. The introduction of the Equal UAT promises affordability, EFIS compatibility, and ease of installation in a remotely mounted ADS-B transceiver for experimental and light sport aircraft. 
Echo UAT includes integrated Wi-Fi, which supports many popular EFB applications on iOS and Android. Echo UAT features a direct wired communication for use with popular transponders and EFIS models from Dynan, GRT, and MGL Avionics. Sky FYX combines a high-precision Wayes GNSS sensor with an integrated RAIM processor. Resilient against jamming, spoofing, and GPS range errors, Sky FYX provides reliable navigation in challenging environments. The Echo ESX, available late April for $1,699, will lead the way for UAvionics to move into ADS-B-enabled Mode S transponder market for general aviation. An optional two and a quarter inch panel mounted control head completes a Mode S transponder upgrade solution for those without a supported EFIS model for an additional $400. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Check out an Ohio pilot as he has a great time playing in the wind aboard his Sportcopter Vortex Gyro. Search Sportcopter Vortex Viking playing around in a little wind on YouTube. After these messages, Boeing loses some 747-8 orders. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Japanese Air Freight Company that was the launch customer for Boeing's 747-8F freighter has reached an agreement with the plane maker to cancel the remaining two of the aircraft it has on order. NHK Group had ordered 14 of the jumbo freighters in 2005 for Nippon Cargo Airlines. The company has capped its fleet at eight aircraft total, including four 747-400Fs. Two ancient sites on Mars that hosted an abundance of water in the planet's early history have been recommended as the final candidates for the landing site of the 2020 ExoMars rover and surface science platform, Oxyoplanum and Marth Vallis. Gamma has a new look for its website. The Gamma staff has been hard at work over the last several months transitioning to a new format. This new design and layout provide website visitors and Gamma members a better experience, allowing them to more easily navigate information, resources, and data. Five NASA astronauts have been assigned to upcoming space flights. Joe Acaba, Ricky Arnold, Nick Haig, Serena Union Chancellor, and Shannon Walker all have begun training for missions launching later this year and throughout 2018. With the objective of conducting a high warm flight test campaign to check aircraft and engine performance in high altitude, warm, and humid conditions, the A350-1000 MSN-71 test aircraft flew first to Bolivia before completing its tour in Colombia and then returning to Toulouse, France after 10 days of flight and ground tests. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. Adventure Pilot has announced the release of version 9.8. This release is available for iOS, Android, and all dedicated iFly GPS devices. Among many new features and enhancements, iFly now offers automatic loading of IFR procedures into a flight plan. Adventure Pilot also highlights the elements of a procedure that are dependent on aircraft performance. 
These elements are accurately represented as a projected route based on the owner's aircraft specifications. Also, with this release, Adventure Pilot has begun a full-scale beta test of the iFly GPS application for Windows. Adventure Pilot Beta customers are currently using the app on Windows tablets such as Microsoft Surface and other Windows-based computers. They can flight plan on Windows and share it on another device for navigation. Feedback has been enthusiastic and positive. iFly GPS for Windows is scheduled for full release in summer 2017 and will be available to all multi-platform subscription holders at no extra charge iFly GPS version 9.8 is available to download now via the Apple App Store, the Android Play Store, or online. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited streams daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.